been in full strength, being able to move my feet. Uh, so getting back 100% is one thing. And then we can't win if we don't play defense. And I got to be the guy to do it because I guard the best players on every team every night. And that's where it starts. Uh, picking up intensity, uh, locking down plays, uh, you know, not letting people get to their spot, not letting them catch the ball, uh, making other people beat us. You know, um, that's how we don't have to play. You know, we don't got any superstars that we get a ball to every time down, uh, or you know, from some one player to do it. We got a bunch of guys together collectively have to do it every night, and I just put it on myself to try to turn this thing around because we're right there. I mean, we've been in games three quarters pretty much the whole season. And you know, lose games in six, eight minutes. Uh, so I think if our, if our intensity is up on defense every night, we're gonna put ourselves in a good position to be able to win every night. Car- Carmelo goes three for fifteen. How good does that feel win from your position? Um, because I know it gives us a chance to win. I know if we, if I, if I can do that job on top players, uh, you know, most of the time, then I know we'll be in games to be able to win them. Uh, the thing is, you know, not pretty guys, you know. It's not about my defense on those guys. It's about us stopping all the other guys from getting off. When we lock up Melo, we got to make sure that you know, Courtney Lee doesn't come and get 30 or, you know, uh, Reese Thomas or Brazilians. Well, she's going to score, but, you know, we can't let guys go crazy when we stop the best player. So, you know, that's what we talk about more anything. On Quinn's miss, when he missed that free throw on purpose, did you have a little heart stopping jump? When, it, when it jumped, because I thought Marquise had it. So when it jumped back up, I was kind of looking around Thomas and seeing who did it. it. Yeah, he <laughs> tipped it. And then that's why I just, I was like, all right, this is enough. <laughs> <laughs> Like you guys were getting under their skins, was that? I think it was a little bit both ways. I think they got an arms beyond it is. It got chippy. Um, you know, it gave it out like the text. Yeah, it got real chippy. I love it when it gets like that because then, <laughs> then it's you know the refs are gonna change the game and you know then the players kind of dictate it. So uh, got a little more physical. Uh, and they let guys play a little bit more. But uh, whenever that happens, uh, you know, being a young team, I tell guys when we come back and huddle, uh, one or two things are gonna happen. Either that's gonna be the reason why we lose the game. That's going to be the reason why we win. You know, we got to take it to another level, get smarter uh, in those situations and be able to finish games out. Was it at all bittersweet to see Jeff on the other It bench? is, man. Jeff's my guy. I love Jeff. Jeff. Yeah. He's one of my favorite coaches I've had in my career. So, uh, But they're doing well. The Knicks playing well, and I'm glad to see him doing well. So, uh, you know, it is. It's bittersweet a little bit. What do you say when people said this ring gave up on him and that's yeah, why he was Because people don't know. People don't know what happened, and nobody knows except the people that were actually in his locker room. Uh, you know, people have different opinions. Some people may have thought that, some people didn't. Uh, it's part of the game, it's part of the situation as a player and maybe a coach and a coach in the NBA. How do you guys get to the point, this like the third game where it was big third quarter lead, you're able to hang on it's to that situation. That's the situation I talk about. We've yeah. been in that situation every time we up, uh, been up the whole game, up 10 to 12, they made their run, now we're back up. Starters come out, uh, we keep a unit in, uh, and they make their run. And that run either makes or breaks us every time. Either we succumb to it and make bad plays and bad decisions and lose the game, or we do it like we did tonight and fight and fight and keep playing even when, you know, Tech, uh, uh, I think it was a flagrant, and they hit a three, it was like a five or six point swing. Mm-hmm. So then once that happens, you know, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna get stops and put it back on top of them or are we gonna lay down and let the refs decide the game? Eric Blitz has just been dominating on, on offense and closing out these games the last I mean, he, he, he did enough even on Sunday to win that game. It right. just didn't happen. And then right. again tonight, right. what, what can you say about Blitzer? Just put it, and that's what we try to get Blitzer to do, is put it back on top of people. He's so fast and strong and physical mm-hmm. that, you know, especially a lot of times, I'll be so tired from playing defense. I'm like, Blitzer, you got to push it up now, bro. <laughs> go. <laughs> push it. Yeah, go, go. You know, push it, put it back on top of people, get in the lane and start creating. And especially when J.D., book, everybody starts hitting threes, then that opens up that lane for him. He goes in there and finishes. So, uh, you know, whenever he's aggressive like that, it's good for us. Booker has now played 100 games in his career. What can you say about what he's done so far in the uh, NBA? He's probably did the best job at taking a situation and running with uh, We had so many injuries and all the stuff that happened last night. He came in and played well, uh, and he's made a spot for himself on his team. So, uh, you know, he's done a great job, and he's going to continue to get better. All right. All right. Can I grab a photo?